So conservative radio host Mark Levin went on Fox and Friends to promote his new book called Unfreedom of the Press. Um, and he basically serves as a giant Trump sycophant and apologist for authoritarianism. Take a look. You know, and as a reporter, I have to stand up for this uh, a little bit, and that is when the president launches attacks on the enemy of the people is the press, isn't that going too far? It's so passive. When you look at history, it's almost ridiculous. You got Jim Acosta, who's covering the White House, who creates drama, and then all of a sudden that's news. That's what we call fake news, the president, or pseudo news. No, it's not. John Adams, 1798, put in place the Sedition Act. He locked up journalists. This is a founding father. Shut down newspapers. Abraham Lincoln, during the Civil War, gave authority to the Secretary of War, shut down 300 newspapers, locked up journalists. Woodrow Wilson, the great progressive, uh, put in a new Sedition Act, 1918, locked up journalists, locked up political opponents, had the most aggressive censorship campaign in American history. Franklin Roosevelt used the IRS to go after the owner of the Philadelphia Inquirer that didn't support the New Deal. His wife, Eleanor, went after Gannett, who was a conservative. Barack Obama used the FBI. Of course, he doesn't know anything ever, but they used the FBI to go after this network, to go after an investigative reporter at the New York Times, and 20 AP reporters. So we have the President of the United States from time to time, rightly so, because he knows what the media have become. The Democrat Party media, that's what it is criticizes them and says, you know what, you're the enemy of the people. Oh, my God, it's like Stalin. Mm -hmm. Really? What exactly has this president done against the First Amendment and the press, other than increase their ratings? What exactly has he done? Has he shut anybody down? Has he imprisoned anybody? Has the FBI been unleashed against anybody like Barack Obama? This is a big lie. and It's one of the things I address in the book. He made this argument as if, like, the same week we didn't learn about the Trump administration going after Julian Assange. By the way, make no mistake about it. He, this segment with Mark Levin happened after the news of Julian Assange. So we learned that there is a quite literal crackdown on the First Amendment and freedom of the press. And he goes out there and says, name one thing that Donald Trump has done. Who has a more nasally voice, me or Ted Cruz? Me. I'm Ted Cruz. Me. You're a sad, sad joke, Mark. You see, this is the thing. You don't even have a, a minimal level of... I don't even know the right word for it, man. You're just a sad sycophant. That's what you are. <laughs> You don't have any objectivity. You have no principles. You, with a smile on your face, sell out and hitch your wagon to the fad of the day on the right. And that's the thing that's always bothered me like about guys like Hannity. Because at least with somebody like Ron Paul, you understand that even though you might not agree with him on many issues, most issues, you understand that he, he actually is coming from a place of principle. Whereas with somebody like Hannity or somebody like Mark Levin, they will quite literally twist facts to suit their narrative. And they will play defense for their team and play offense for their team. So it's not about, you know, holding yourself to an ideal. Staying true to a belief. It's more about the person than the principle. And that's just pathetic. That's pathetic. That's like high school thinking that you never broke out of because you're a sad little bitch. Um, and again, the, the same week, the president goes after Julian Assange. Why, by the way? Why are they going after Julian Assange? Very simply, he got from Chelsea Manning information about how our military was killing civilians, then killing the first responders, then laughing about it. And he released this exposing the military industrial complex and exposing war crimes and bringing transparency to the assholes in power who try to avoid it and who try to avoid accountability at all costs. So what Chelsea Manning did was brave, what Julian Assange did was brave, and now 
the wrath of hell is being brought upon him by evil men who want their secrecy and want to be able to get away with no transparency, no accountability, and no justice. No consequences whatsoever. And Mark Levin, Mr. Yeah, I'm going to speak truth to power over here. What do you do? You fall right in line. You fall right in line. You pretend like Trump's done nothing wrong in terms of a free press. By the way, hilarious. If Trump had his way, he obviously would implement, um, you know, restrictions. He says he would. He said it repeatedly. He says we should open up the libel law so you can go after the media for writing bad stories. He sued Bill Maher over a joke. He sued The Onion over a satire article. Why are you pretending? Like, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here at all. This president's actually really tame on this issue. Why, 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 why would you do it? Why would you do it when it's so easy to debunk your utter garbage and your nonsense argument the same week that they're trying to fucking put a hatchet in the back of the First Amendment in a free press? You go out there and pretend like he's not like that. And by the way, notice his argument made no sense. Mark Levin hates Democrats thoroughly, hates them through and through. But in order to defend Trump, what does he say? Well, FDR cracked down on a free press, and so did uh, Barack Obama with his war on whistleblowers, and here's a bunch of other examples. There were there was the Sedition Act in the past, see? They went after the press. So, I don't get it. Are you, are you saying that that's a good thing? Because that's what it sounds like you're saying. It sounds like you're saying, oh, well, other, other presidents cracked down on the press, so what's the big deal if Trump does it? But you hate everything Democrats do, but in order to defend Trump, you're going to say, well... Hey, they did it, so can't he do it? But I thought you hated what Democrats do. I thought you hated authoritarianism as you say you do. You know Mark Levin calls himself a constitutional conservative? <laughs> constitutional conservative. You're doing, uh, you know, apologetics for an administration trying to kill the First Amendment. You ain't no damn constitutional conservative. You're a partisan bitch boy. That's what you are. It's unbelievable, dude. He was, it sounded like he was saying, hey, other presidents did authoritarian stuff. They had did the Sedition Act. They locked up journalists. Isn't that awesome? So Trump just calling the, uh, you know, the press fake news. There's nothing wrong with that. By the way, he's right. There is nothing wrong with that. I never melted down over him calling him fake news. Sometimes I think it's hilarious when he does stuff like that. But there's a difference between substantively criticizing the press, which is totally fine. Usually he's not right on the substance, but I'm still fine with calling them fake news. It's, that doesn't bother me. The problem is what he's doing right now with Julian Assange. That's the problem. The problem is when you use the law to crack down on journalists who expose the powerful. That's the problem. And you're too much of a partisan loser with your blinders on to recognize it. So his book is all about, think, imagine in the Trump era writing a book about how, oh my God, the press is so bad. By the way, are they bad? Yes, but they're bad not for the reasons he says, because he says they're bad because they're so leftist. Oh, please. They, just this week, there's a dozen articles that are unfairly smearing Bernie Sanders. Spare me with your, oh, the leftist press era. They're bad because they push stuff like the Iraq war. They're bad because they almost always do the buildup for war with incorrect information. They're bad because they defend the status quo without even realizing they're defending the status quo. They're bad because they're corporate and pro-establishment. That's why they're bad, Mark. Not because, like, you think, oh my god, they're so leftist and that's bad, me. No, you're wrong. You have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Um, your book is pure trash and just know what you are. You're a sad partisan loser who has no objectivity left in your body. You don't have any objectivity at all. Because if you did, you would have had to admit, well, this is unfortunate timing for me to do my book tour. Trump just cracked down on Julian Assange, who of course exposed the powerful and was doing the job of a journalist, and he wants to put him in prison using the fucking Espionage Act. Oh, please. So this is beyond pathetic. It's disgusting. And um, Mark Levin is nothing but a sad, sad propagandist, and if you're convinced by him, I feel really bad for you.